Singapore students continue to come up top in maths and science. Primary four and secondary two students have ranked first for the third consecutive edition in a global benchmarking study with even academically weaker students outperforming the international average. The latest trends in international mathematics and science study found that students did well applying and reasoning with concepts from both subjects. They also demonstrated very strong knowledge in key issues such as climate change, biodiversity and conservation. The study also found that while both cohorts of students expressed more confidence in learning maths and science, interest in learning mathematics have declined. And for more on what the results mean for Singapore, we're now joined by Go Su Fen, Master Teacher of Primary Science at the Academy of Singapore Teachers, and Rizwan Abdul Rahim, Principal Specialist of Mathematics at the Curriculum Planning and Development Division at the Education Ministry. Welcome to the both of you. Uh, Mr. Rizwan, let's start with you. While overall competencies are high, uh, the study found a slight dip in primary four students' performance in maths compared to the previous study. What might be some reasons for this? I think uh, in the first place, uh, we think the COVID-19 uh, pandemic, which caused disruptions to schooling in 2020 and 2021. I think the, the group of students who took teams 2023 were in primary one and primary two then. And uh, the disruptions could have caused some impact on the learning of foundational numeracy skills of this group of students. Um, and to some extent, uh, this suggests that attending in-person learning in school uh, is very important, particularly for our younger students. And we will continue to support our teachers through relevant uh, professional development and also through the development of high quality uh, resources so that our teachers can support our students to uh, learn mathematics well. And, and in fact, in 2023, we extended the learning support for mathematics program to primary three. And this year in 2024, we extended it to primary four. This will enable uh, students who require it to be uh, supported uh, closely by our, our teachers. All right. And uh, Ms. Go, let's bring you in here. Our students are also reporting high competencies in environmental knowledge like climate change. What are we doing right uh, when it comes to holistic learning for students? Right. So um, the curriculum actually extends uh, learning opportunities beyond the classroom setting, offering um, enriching programs such as the Young Scientist Batch Program for primary students and school-based STEM Applied Learning Programs, ALP, at the primary and secondary levels. So through the STEM ALP, students they are exposed to areas of learning such as health science, future of transportation and sustainability. So let me just give an example. So one example is that Tatong Primary School students are provided with opportunities to develop uh, sustainability awareness and STEM skills through its uh, Green Makers at Tatong STEM ALP, which integrates STEM skills with maker-centered learning, focusing on real-world sustainability challenges in Singapore. So uh, through these interdisciplinary learning experiences, we hope to cultivate students' critical thinking and curiosity, and also to ensure that their learning remains relevant in today's context. Mm, and, and Mr. Rizwan, earlier you were talking about disruption uh, in learning during the COVID-19 period, uh, but the study also found that interest in learning maths is down. What is being done here to nurture that interest beyond just being good at the subject? Okay, actually the deep in interest uh, is a trend that uh, is seen in many participating uh, systems in Teams 2023. But uh, MOE will continue to work with our schools very closely uh, to ensure the mathematics curriculum is relevant and also engaging to uh, our students. Um, our teachers actually will continue to emphasize uh, hands-on activities uh, 
real world problem uh, solving activities uh, tasks uh, in our mathematics curriculum. Uh, and in fact, uh, this will encourage our students to apply their understanding and also see the relevance of mathematics in everyday life. Mm. Uh, and again, our teachers uh, also have a variety or can use a variety of resources such as interactive digital tools, uh, infographics, uh, investigative tasks to spark the interest of our students uh, in learning mathematics and also appreciate mathematics uh, better. Uh, for those students who uh, want to further their interest in the subject, they also have uh, access to uh, self-directed learning resources in uh, the SLS, our student learning space. Sure. So these are all available to students. Um, Ms. Go, let's bring you in here. You know, we were talking about digital devices. It's one thing, uh, one thing to show confidence in using digital devices. How else can we strengthen students' digital literacy? Right. Um, at MOE, right, we do have the Transforming Education Through Technology Master Plan 2030. So this guides our schools in strengthening the development of students' digital literacy. Uh, our teachers, they are trained to integrate meaningful use of technology in their teaching. So for example, in a topic on light, as students explore on shadow formation in a primary science classroom, students, they use digital cameras or tablets to record the size and the shape of shadows at various times and distances. Students then use appropriate tools like simple apps or spreadsheets to consolidate and analyze their data. They learn about the science behind light and shadows while reflecting on their findings. So through this learning experience, students, they can enhance their digital skills and understand how to responsibly use technology to support scientific investigations. At higher levels, in the theme on like uh, exploring interactions through climate change, students may use digital citizen science platforms to share and identify organism data. Digital sensors may also be used uh, for environmental readings and software to analyze and present findings on organism environmental relationships. So students are kept abreast of technological advances in areas such as sustainability, emerging technology, climate change and science behind healthcare mm -hmm. through uh, print as well as uh, digital resources. So this effort right, uh, ensures that our students, they are not only confident in using the digital dis uh, right. devices, but also learn the knowledge, skills and dispositions that can help them to be okay. confident, uh, critical and responsible users of digital technologies and sure. empower our students to navigate and contribute effectively in a digitally uh, driven world in the future. I'm afraid we have run out of time. Uh, Ms. Go, thank you so much for speaking with us. And Mr. Rizwan as well, that was Go Sufen, Master Teacher of Primary Science at the Academy of Singapore Teachers, and Rizwan Abdurrahim, Principal Specialist of Mathematics at the Curriculum Planning and Development Division at the Education Ministry.